Tanika. In case you are new here, my channel focuses on fashion, travel, beauty, and overall black girl magic, luxury, leisure, lifestyle. So in today's video, I'm excited because I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I think I've talked about doing this video for a while and it's basically a video of some of my favorite handbags that are, um, you know, a little bit on the affordable side. So Before we fully get into the video, um, my top is by Christopher John Rogers. I got this from net a -Porte. I love net a -Porte. I did have um, and do have a partnership with net a -Porte. This was not part of the partnership. I bought this on my own. My necklace is from Missouri. I got this at the Missouri, the brand new Missouri store in London when I was there in October. I have a number of pieces from Missouri. I just really like Missouri jewelry. And the braids are back, people. She's back to her regularly scheduled hairstyle. And I'm in my closet. My closet's a little junky. It's always a little junky for the OCD people out there. I'm sorry. I'm probably gonna start with the most expensive items first. I actually really love these handbags because of the variety and the color and the shape. I love that these come in a number of different shapes and a number of different colors and they are none other than the Jock Moose bags. So I will start with my latest Jock Moose bags. I just really got this Jock Moose bag. I have not worn this bag yet, but I'm also just I'm just really excited like the duster is still in there. I'm just excited because it has a lot more room and it can fit my like iPhone, you know? So I really love the Jock Moose bags because they're, for me, they do have a high quality. I really, really love um, the shape. I love that they come in a number of different colors and they're just not limited. I think a lot of like of the heritage houses and the luxury brands are also coming out with a bunch of colors because we're in our dopamine era. It is all about bold hues. I've been on bold hues, okay? But um, a lot of people are starting to get on the colorful bandwagon and a lot of brands, you will see a lot of brands coming out with colorful clothing. But here's the thing, Jock Moose has always had colorful bags and that's one of the things that stand out to me about Jock Moose. I really love these handbags. I think the quality is totally worth it. When I talk about my Jock Moose handbags over on TikTok, they're always like, are they worth the money? And I'm like, they're absolutely worth the money. And sometimes for some people, this is the most they will spend on a handbag. So I think it's important to just talk about the quality. I think the stitching is always on point for me when it comes to the Jock Moose handbag. I love the strap. They usually also come with like another strap. Um, you can easily add just one of like those thicker straps to these bags. And you know, they're very much of the moment. And that's kind of what I love about the Jock Moose bags. Are they a classic bag? We don't know yet. Time will tell um, if these bags stand the test of time. But I think for right now, they are for me worth the money. And I just really get my wear out of them. I actually wear a lot of the Jock Moose bags as like date night bags and evening bags and just like things I can just throw and carry with me. And I always get my cost per wear out of these bags. I've yet to wear this one, but I love the Jock Moose bags. This is um, another Jock Moose bag that I just recently got. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There's the color, but I got this bag from uh, London and um, I've just been loving it. I love the strap. I love that it's crossbody. I obviously love the color. The color is just so, 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 so yummy for me. I love yellow. And when I don't want to carry my like Chanel 19 bag, I really love this bag. And I could also see this bag that I wouldn't be like totally upset if Kennedy grabbed this bag and decided she wanted to rock the bag. In case you don't know, Kennedy is my 15 year old daughter. Um, but I, I wouldn't mind if she wore it. You know, I wouldn't be like, put that down. Like if she grabbed my Birkin, I would be like, what are you doing girl? But this, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be mad at. It is just a really high quality. I think it can span across age groups. I think it looks cool if I wear it. I can wear it with a blazer and it looks really, really grown up. I feel like Kennedy can wear it with like her overalls and like her white shirt um, and crossbody. It's just for me, it's just one of those like ageless bags and I'm hoping that it's here to stay and it's timeless. I think this shape 
may stick around a little bit longer because it's a little bit bigger you know these are a little bit bigger and you can fit more in them but i will show you the other jock mousse like more micro bags that i actually really love and recommend so these are my jock mousse micro bags i love these bags and i actually think they're totally worth the money i know some people like to buy like the dupes so they basically dupe the i think they dupe the like the size of it the structure and and it just doesn't have jock mousse on it i can't speak to that because i don't own any of those bags but i actually really love um the jock mousse bags i think they're at a pretty good price point for the affordability for the trendiness of the bag um and i really appreciate it i mean nothing you know you shouldn't have to spend hundreds of dollars <laughs> to be able to carry your phone but I could actually fit a phone in here, a card in here, some lip gloss, and um, maybe some keys, and that's pretty much it. But I like it for the color variety, I like it for the quality. I will say that, for me, the leather holds up a little bit better than the suede when it comes to the Jock Moose bags. So I will say that. The suede um, stains, just like, you know, with any suede bag, the leather kind of holds up a little bit better. Now, if you're not into color, I don't know why you follow me. <laughs> no, you may be following me because you want to be inspired to wear more color. But if you want a bag that for you is like, you know, I'm only going to own five bags in my entire life at any one period of time. And I have a pop of color bag. And so I'm looking for a more neutral bag. This for me is it. Um, I don't own a black jock mousse bag, so I can't speak to like a black jock, jock mousse bag. But I really love this like chocolate leather jock mousse bag. And I wore this to death. I literally wore this to death in the fall. I have another jock mousse bag like the one I just showed that is chocolate as well. And so I would go back and forth between those two. Because I just really love chocolate brown, um, especially to wear chocolate brown with like camel and nudes. And this bag in the fall time is every single thing. You can also wear this on vacation with like an all cream outfit. It just pops against the all cream. It's also like a maroonish brown and so that's what I love about it. But I think for the price point, the jock mousse bags, I would definitely say you should put these on your list as high quality bags that are at an affordable price point and when i say affordable um i am going for like under a thousand dollars so these are obviously uh, over five hundred dollars or under a thousand dollars depending on where you get them you can also catch them on sale um you can catch them at essence you can catch them on farfetch on sale you can even catch jock moose bags on sale at net a porte when net a porte is having their sale i think their next sale for net a porte is during um good friday maybe they only have like four or five sales a year but that is when you can really get a steep, steep discount on Jock Moose bags. And so I'm saying for people who may not necessarily um, want to or can afford a bunch of Chanel bags or a bunch of, you know, Hermes bags or a bunch of, um, you know, Dior bags, what are some high quality bags? that are still really, really cute and have high, you know, high quality. And I obviously recommend the Jock Moose bags. 10 out of 10, highly recommend the Jock Moose bags. Okay, right underneath the Jock Moose bags in terms of price point are the Coach Tabby bags. I love the Coach Tabby bags. This is my Coach Pillow Tabby bag. I love what Coach has been doing lately. I really actually got my wear out of this bag um, when it first came Came out I don't reach for it as much as I used to and I don't know if it's a classic bag again I'm just unsure and um, wait a minute not the mat of course there's a mask in every bag right but I think it's like nice and roomy I love that it has like these two sections it has the pocket it comes with a strap I just wear it like this. I also wouldn't mind if Kennedy decided she wanted to like take this for a whirl and she wanted to wear this um, pillow tabby. I think it's totally cute. You can also catch these on sale and that's what I love about high quality like leather goods that you know um, 
that are more affordable, you can catch them on sale as well. So they may retail like originally for $500, but you can catch these on sale. And so that's what I just want to emphasize for you. If you like high quality items, you want them for a discount, but you also want them for an even steeper discount, I would definitely check out the sales on these items. Now, because they go on sale, they do sell out really, really quickly, especially like the newer shades. So every time, so every time Coach comes out with a new shade in these bags, they sell out really, really quickly. Because they are so affordable and because of the quality and the hype is there, they tend to sell out. So I would make sure you set your alerts, know when they go on sale and snag them up really, really quickly. Now, the Coach uh, Pillow Tabby Micro, I think this is called the 18. Um, I was obsessed with this bag for a hot, cute minute, okay? It was just like my go-to, and I don't know if you can see it because of the light. Let me try to turn the light down. I may be getting washed out a little bit by the light. Yeah, I think it's getting washed out by the light, but it is like a green. It's more of like, it's more of like, it's more of like a lime greeny color than what's showing. I think my lighting is a little... It's just a little too bright, um, but I love this bag. I bought this strap from Coach and I just made it a crossbody. I think it's just such a convenient bag. You can rent out, you can put your phone in here, your lip gloss, you can put like a, a little like um, card holder. I, you, I don't think you can fit a wallet in here. If you do fit a wallet in here, it's just the wallet. But I love the Coach uh, pillow tabby bags. I actually really like these. I was thinking about getting one in the green, but I'm like, girl, do you need another green coat? And I responded to myself and was like, no, you don't. You do not need another green bag. Okay. I think I said coat, but I do not need another green bag. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm obsessed with green, but like enough is enough. Next on my list of affordable bags that I really love are the Charles and Keith bags. So these bags were actually gifted to me as part of a campaign that I worked on with them. So like they sent me these to shoot some of the shoes. And Charles and Keith is like a contemporary brand. They always really have good high quality items, staple items, items that can stay in your wardrobe for a really long time. They do have some like trendy pieces but they are known for their accessories. So they really make bags and shoes. I have some Charles and Keith shoes that they sent me as part of the, a paid campaign that I worked on with them that I have not taken off. I literally have not taken those shoes off. And it was part of a TikTok campaign, so I don't know how many of you follow me over on TikTok. So you may not have seen it, and it was a while ago. But I have been rocking their stuff because I was just like so surprised. And here's the thing, I had wanted to buy some Charles and Keith items, but it was just like in one of my tabs and I never actually did it. But I ended up getting these bags and I love them. I obviously picked the color myself and you know I love this like, you know, sienna, orange, like green. I'm trying to open the bag. So this is a traditional crossbody bag. You know, and I will obviously link this below. It has the two pockets. Um, it is for me comparable to the Dior Bobby bag. It is also comparable to the Gucci bag. I will link those both below. Those are obviously well over a thousand dollars. The Gucci bag that I bought, um, it was under two thousand dollars because I got it duty free when I was transitioning. Um, I think I was in Amsterdam. But um, that's how I was able to get the bag for under $2,000. They may go on sale. I'm unsure. But you can get them on My Teresa. You can get them on Net-A-Porte. Um, but to me, they mimic the shape of that bag. They also can hold a pretty, you know, a pretty significant amount. It is a traditional size bag. And these are bags, again, that I have grabbed for when I'm running out the door, especially if I have on like my camel coat. I'm just like, I. here's the thing. I absolutely love camel coats, but I absolutely am like, how more basic can you be than a camel coat? And so whenever I have on a camel coat, especially a camel coat, straight leg jeans and a white button up top, I'm gonna probably grab for this bag to add some fusion of color into it. And because it's like an earth tone color, 
it just flows really, really, really well. So that's what I love about this bag. And I really love Charles and Keith bags. The quality is just there for me. So this is another Charles and Keith bag that I have that I love. Um, I have worn this bag a few times. I really appreciate this bag. I love that it has the like front zipper. Again, I love the detail of these bags. I think the quality, I think the quality is just so, so good. And it has this beautiful like snap. I love the gold detail. For me, it hasn't scarred easily. Um, it, it's been easy to like wear it as a shoulder bag as well as wearing it as a, um, a, a I haven't been able to fit this on crossbody now that I think because I don't think this strap has, was long enough for me but I love the bag I mean the quality of the bag is there obviously you can fit a significant amount it is a traditional size bag you do have the like Charles and Keith um, you know symbol there the Charles and Keith logo the Charles and Keith branding and I think it's just so simple, so chic, so cute. And so, yeah, I highly recommend Charles and Keith bags for bags. Um, these bags traditionally are under $200. Most of the time, the Charles and Keith bags are actually under $100. And they do also have sales. So, highly recommend the Charles and Keith handbags. Next up is Telfar. So, this is my orange Telfar bag. So, if you follow me for any amount of time, you have seen my white... Uh, mini Telfar bag. I love Telfar bags. I, I am obsessed with the minis. Like these minis, these micros, these like extra smalls. I don't know what uh, Telfar is calling them. I love them because for me, I can just fit a boatload in them. They just have one snap at the top. I wear them crossbody. I just got, I just secured through the bag program uh, the Telfar a uh, yellow bag and I paid for this last year and I got it um, in March so I'm super excited to have the new colors for me it's just like the jock moose bags I wear them for the color the pop of color I love the shape I'm pretty committed to this size of Telfar bags in case you don't know Telfar is a black owned brand he is a Liberian American that I think in New York was really known for his like knitwear especially in Bushwick I used to definitely shop his knitwear his ready to wear is sold on Farfetch. So if you're interested in other things from Telfar, like his ready to wear, I would definitely check out their site. And also check out, um, you know, Farfetch for Telfar. So I have a bunch of new, exciting, colorful bags. These like micro bags from Telfar. So I do, do highly recommend Telfar when you're looking for affordable bags. Next in the world of affordable bags, this was also featured, I don't if I featured this exact bag but I featured bags from Brandon Blackwood I really love Brandon Blackwood bags for me they are definitely you know if I'm going to like brunch I don't know what it is about a Brandon Blackwood bag that for me it just reminds me of brunch I don't maybe it's this shape I don't know what it is but it's like oh we're going to brunch you know me and my girlfriends you know we're bringing our telfeesies we're bringing the Brandon Blackwood bags um, I also love this. I think if I had like a little date night or evening activity, I would definitely wear this like, actually I might wear this this weekend with Mr. B. Like I could totally see a black blazer and like a green, this like khaki green underneath. I love the Brandon Blackwood bags. I think they come in at a pretty affordable price point for the quality. I absolutely adore the stitching on these bags. I'm you know, I'm a stitching girl. I love the stitching. For me, if the stitching isn't there, it's a no bueno. It is a no bueno. I am not always a silver hardware girl, but I think I wanted this color so bad that I just said, you know what, I'm going to get it in, you know, um, I'm going to get it anyway. I am absolutely dying, dying for and waiting for the Brandon Blackwood Bamboo Bag. It is sold out everywhere. I can't get my hands on it. But I know that for me, that is going to be one of my bags for the summer. So I can't wait to get my hands on it. But if you're looking for handbags that for me are just, they just scream luxury. They're so high quality. Um, the stitching is amazing. You can fit a great deal in these bags. 
<clears throat> I know for the shape, it looks like everything is just going to pop out, but it's not. They actually have, you know, these sides. And so you're actually just putting it in at the top there. It does come with a cross body. Um, Kennedy also really loves Brandon Blackwood bags. And so I also think they make for really great gifts. So Brandon Blackwood, highly recommend Brandon Blackwood bags. Yes, yes, I do. I wanted to also show, and I think I showed this in my like black handbag designers uh, haul that I did, or it wasn't necessarily a haul, I think I just was talking about black handbag designers that I really love. And I don't know if you can really see this shade. Um, <clears throat> in case you don't know, I broke like ligaments in my wrist. Um, but I love this Brandon Blackwood bag as well. This was one of the bags that I was just like stalking to get. I love the chain. Again, I'm not a major fan of silver hardware, but I will do silver hardware for Brandon Blackwood. I will do silver hardware for Brandon Blackwood. And, um, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I think it's so, so cute. I think it's tiny. I think it's fun. And I think it is worth the money. Okay, now for the bags that are, these are not leather bags. Um, these are, you know, they may not hold up longer than a year. But these to me, I actually really love to shop at Mango. And I appreciate what Mango does and what Mango gives. And I love like their designs. And I just think people sleep on Mango. I just think people sleep on Mango, especially in America. And I know that Mango shuttered like most of their stores in America. So that's one of the reasons why people can't really access, access it as much. But you can also get Mango bags online. Um, I go to the Mango store down in Soho. And I love to like shop and feel and I love mango bags. I actually really love mango bags. I love mango bags. They didn't gift this to me. Nobody told me to say this. This is genuine. I really like mango bags and I like just their print. I like the way they think about color. I just love all of that. And this is one of my favorite bags from mango. I also have this in the black and white. And the white is a little cream. It's not like stark white. And so I wear it with like my houndstooth coat. And if you see me around the city, you just see me in that bag 50,000 times. So I was like, I'm not going to show that one. I'm going to show this one. It's very similar, but I love, again, y'all know I love green. I love a green bag. I think this is just so cute. And it's really, really good when you pair this with like, you know, an all green suit, even like all black, all cream. It can become a, a pop of color in a really, really good way. Now my favorite bag from Mango. Now my favorite bag from Mango that is worth every single penny. And here's the thing. This bag is like, it's all statement. This bag is all statement. It's a pouch. You know, it's a pouch bag. It gives you Bottega vibes. <laughs> it really gives you Bottega vibes. Um, it's like satin at the bottom. It is an evening bag. It is an evening bag. It does come with a strap. Don't ask me where it is. Okay, it's somewhere in this house. <laughs> but I love this clutch. It's like a clutch bag. And y'all, I got the matching shoes while I was in uh, Paris. So shout out to um, one of my followers. She followed me on Instagram and she worked at the mango store and she was like, oh my God, let me show you the shoes. And if it were not for her, I would not have saw the matching shoes. I ordered this bag online and I think the bag was a little bit more than what it should have cost. I think it may have been like $80. And when you get the bag, like the quality isn't there. Like, it's not like, oh my God, this is a $100 bag. This is a statement bag. This is a statement bag, okay? And I will also link a few from ASOS that I, that I found. I haven't bought them, but I will link them for other folks if you want to check them out and do a review and talk about them. Because um, I think it's important for folks to have options. But I really, really love this bag from Mango. Again, it is a statement piece. It's not high quality. The feathers might fall off. Do not at me if the if the feathers fall off. I'm not telling you that this is a dupe for um, a Birkin. It is not. I'm telling you that if you want a cool, fun statement piece in your life, okay, just a cute piece, this is it. This is it. And I love it. I'm telling y'all, all New York Fashion Week, I was just like... I couldn't put it down. 
I couldn't put it down because of the texture, you know? I really love the texture. So I do recommend mango bags. Again, they're not 100% um, leather. They don't necessarily have to be. I think if, no matter the price point, if you take care of your things, they will tend to last longer than maybe they were intended to. I really think that about even fast fashion pieces, you know? So, love this bag from Mango. Recommend Mango. In the super, super, super affordable, like under $50, um, sometimes under $20 are some bags from Amazon. And I will link them below. Um, I want to mention this bag because this is a bag that I started wearing as part of my like Amazon The Drop collection. There is a separate part of Amazon The Drop called Amazon The Drop Staples. And so um, I picked up some pieces to pair with my Amazon the drop collection because you're supposed to wear when you're doing like promotion you're supposed to be wearing a full amazon look and so pick this up wasn't necessarily expecting to like it as much as i did um and i actually really like it i actually really like this bag i think it's really cute it's just like a cute bag to go out in again I don't know like if this bag is gonna like stand the test of time but I think for the color and they have it in a bunch of different colorways and the like ruching it just is so 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 cute and I like that it has this like you know it has this like snap at the top so your stuff won't fall out and again you can fit a great deal of things in this bag I've worn this when I was out of out of town um, I don't think I've worn it in the city but I've definitely worn this out of town. I've worn this like on vacation. I think it's one of those kinds of bags that you can just, you know, throw on also to like color block, um, to add some little texture. Um, it's not a dead on dupe for the Bottega in any way because the Bottega has a lot, like the Bottega um, Jody, because it has a knot and way more structure. But I wanted to make sure I added this in there for the like, you know super affordable bags that i tend to like that i think are really really cute so amazon the drop also has this cute bag that i think one of the reasons why i like this bag is because it packs really easily it can like you can make it super super flat and you can pack like a bunch of these so Sometimes when you're looking for a bunch of like outfit options and you want to take something that, you know, just, you know, to hold your things in um, and you want something like neutral, like this black bag, you can take this with you. I have worn this again on vacation because sometimes I'll take like one of my uber expensive bags and y'all know I got to take a Dior piece and I take my Dior tote. Then I'll take like a micro bag and then I'll take like a bunch of bags that I can pack. So I'll pack, like I can fold to so like my Goyard bag. I'll take this bag. Sometimes I take a Telfar bag because I can pack it. And I just like bunch them together. And I know they're not going to get really damaged because they came like that, you know. And so this bag is from Amazon. I wanted to make sure I mentioned this bag. Because for me, it has stood the test of time. And you can't really tell that it's not 100% leather because it's black and it kind of has those ridges on there. And it's a really cute bag. Again, I think it's really cute for vacation. I think it's gonna wear really nicely for the summer. I think this is part of the Amazon The Drop collection. I know I definitely got this on, um, on Amazon. I will say that for sure. So I want to make sure I mention this because I think this is great for the folks who are looking for something that is under $50, you know? Um, and I would definitely add this to my list, especially if you're just looking for a bag for vacation, something easy, you can rock with your pieces. I think this is it. Okay, if you made it this far, thank you so much. I actually really, really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun making this video. I think it's important to make sure I sprinkle in and add some of the pieces that I love that are not on the high end, that are not luxury, um, because it just provides a lot more balance so that, you know, folks who follow me who are inspired by my color and are inspired by the way I put things together who may not always want to splurge or spend a lot on clothes can also see other options. And so that was my goal. And I hope I met that goal for you all. I will link a bunch of bags below. Some of the bags I have, some of the bags I don't have. If you try them, please let me know. Please tag me on Instagram. Make sure you tag me if you are on YouTube and you do like reviews of 
them. I would love to see them. I am such a consumer of uh, YouTube content. So I really personally enjoy that. I will see you all in the next video. Please make sure you like, make sure you comment. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you never miss an upload from me. And I will see you later. Bye.